Hello and welcome to today's art journey. I am using Acrology acrylic paints in this one. Scarlet, orange and deep yellow. The black is a Benjamin Moore house paint. There have been a lot of videos on social media recently using marbles with acrylic pores. I have no marbles, <laughs> so I raided the house. I found this skewer type thing and some weird party favour. I always try to get every little piece of paint. I'm not even sure why, but I feel the need to make sure it's all on the canvas and not in the cup. I absolutely love these little paper cups that you can get from the dollar store. You can crimp the edge so that it has a little spout. They're so easy to use to mix up small quantities of paint and there is no cleanup. And they're very cheap, uh, about 38 cups for a buck I believe. Even though I mixed up exactly the same amount of paint for each colour, the red seems to have disappeared into the orange. Let's try the big one first. Yeah, I don't like those results, so I'll try a little one. What do you think? Do I make a good marble? Maybe I can get a second job as a marble. There was just a little too much negative space for me, so I'm putting as much of the remaining paint as I can into those spaces.
I wanted the colour closer to the edge, which is why I'm tilting the canvas. But as I was doing it, it seemed to be making those negative spaces bigger, which I didn't like, so I stopped. But I do like the way it softens the composition, so it's not obvious lines that I've drawn. I definitely don't want this composition stretching, so we need to get rid of the drips that would pull the paint over the edge. It's not real clear here because I do a lot of it off camera or hidden beneath my hand but I am putting the black paint into a little squeeze bottle along with a stuff load of glitter. I tried to show you how much glitter I put in but I guess it didn't come out real clear. My original idea was to have lines of glitter in the negative spaces, which is what I'm trying to do here. But this takes forever, so we're going to speed it up some. Just fixing a couple of spots on the sides where the paint did pull away.
so let me show you what it looks like wet pretty cool and the final dried result It's really hard to see in the static picture, so I'm going to zoom in and give you a closer look at the black paint with the glitter in it. It's given the painting some texture, which I did not expect. It really looks like the cold volcanic rock that collects around the lava as it flows down the mountain. And because of that, I'm calling this piece Volcano. So thank you for joining me again today. If you did enjoy my video, don't forget the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my journeys, please don't hesitate to click subscribe and click on the little bell so that you'll be notified of my next video.